something else. We are not going that route. Uh, the Zhao is my first tier 10 ship. Uh, big cruiser main back in the early days of World of Warships. Um, fantastic boat, low detect. You you know about the Zhao. You've fought the Zhao if you've played at tier 10. Um, it's not as popular as it once was, but it's still an absolute machine. So in this boat, uh, the, the Zhao is a pretty good boat. Like, uh, like I said, it's big claim to fame is how stealthy it is. It used to be 9.7 kilometers in detectability when it was fully kitted out. Now it's 9.9 .9, uh, with a couple of the balance changes and captain changes and things. Uh, HE is really great on this boat. 3400 is your max damage. 17 and a half kilometer firing range. Um, and they're pretty accurate. I don't know what the velocity is, but it's actually pretty quick. And then as far as I can tell, I think the, the ship is fairly accurate by way of... Uh, by way of Sigma, etc. So I feel like it, it hits what I what I point at. I try to hit these Shokaku planes here just a little bit. It's coming in for a bombing run on me. I'm a little bit on my own here, which I don't like. So these could hurt. They didn't. I like that. We'll throw. I do have enough time to hit my focus fire again on the other side. So I was able to drop five of those airplanes. Zao doesn't have the best AA at this tier, but against a tier eight uh, aircraft carrier, we're going to do okay, right? I'm actually top tier in this match because I chose the absolute top tier in the game. So I sort of forced Wargaming matchmaking's hand. That's the first time all night that we've actually been top tier, I think, or all morning, I should say. So yeah, against tier 8 carriers, I should be okay on the airplane front. These curve firsts could be an issue for me, but they're also a fantastic target for my HE shells. The thing about this boat is, like I said, with that low detect, you can regulate how spotted you are. You can kind of keep control over that yourself. I totally whiffed right there. To shoot blind at that act. It'd be nice to catch a piece of them. I'm going to try to get my broadside turned away. The shells are already coming from the battleship. This could be bad. Oh my god. And there you had it. Come on. It was as if a tornado had blown through our house. What would you do if I... I knew I was doing the turn there, but F you guys. If you think I'm not going to kill you before this is over, think again. I will at least try. All right, I gotta get quiet here. Uh, I do have hull repairs in this thing. That's probably a lot of heavy damage. I don't know how much of those hit points I'll be able to earn back. We'll know here in a second when the... Uh... Okay, so I can, it looks like I can do at least another heal and get a chunk of hit points back. So I'm gonna regulate my spottedness. I'm gonna do the thing I was just talking about. I'm gonna take advantage of the low detect on this boat and I'm gonna get my fingers off the, the left mouse button so that I don't continuously remain spotted. Swing this corner here and uh, let my team handle things for another 56 seconds until my whole repair comes back. But taking a look at what's going on up here, I've only got eight hits so far and only five of those were pens, three were penetrations. So out of five hits, I have 13,000 damage. I have a fire here. I don't know how much of that damage is fire damage, but I imagine some of it was. Um, and so we're, we're able to get pretty good HE hits and I've all pretty much been shooting at, I don't know if I hit that Akazuki or not because I was busy getting citadeled by, uh, by, uh, battleships after that. Sorry, I had to pay attention to this scenario. Um, I was busy getting citadeled by stuff, so I wasn't really paying attention to what happened to those shells when I fired them off at the Aki earlier. I should check to see if I can swap this fighter out for a spotter as well. Using my hull repair. I have a feeling that whatever this heals up to is going to be my maximum amount of healing. We shall soon see. 
Yeah, there's a tiny sliver more that I could heal, but I think at this point I gotta get back in the game. So let's start getting some shots fired off. Like I say, the Zao's a good boat, and I think even a half dead Zao is a good boat. So average damage number on this boat for me is 731. It's kind of a middling number. It's yellow in uh, WoW's monitor, so it's not the most powerful. Uh, it's not the, the most impressive number for a tier 10 cruiser like the Zao, uh, but it seems to do okay. I tend to win games in here. My average win rate in here is about 3.5% higher than my normal. Um, so it's obviously a boat that I, I seem to resonate well with. Um, and that's over 127 games. So it's fairly statistically significant at this point. Obviously that's over 127 games that span four and a half, five years probably worth of, of uh, changes and balance adjustments and things like that in World of Worship. So yeah, the environment's changed quite a bit since I first unlocked this boat. Uh, but I still seem to have fairly consistent performance in it. Let's see if we can make sure that we're consistent in this battle as well. I kind of chilling back here in the backfield. I think I'd like to go over here and support my Kerr first in Kiev um, on this Charlie push. Is it Des Moines, my sworn enemy? So we'll throw some shells over the mountain here and see if any of these can land on that boat. That would be really great. 21-5, 21-1, I mean. And we're up to 28-3, so that was a great slap against that Des Moines. There it is, it just chunked off that damage. I'm gonna take a shot at this guy because I can over the hill. It looks like he's in stationary or reverse. Des Moines, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get shells to drop like that over that island, so I'm gonna look for another target. See if there's somebody else that I can hit. Gun rotation is decent on this. That's what's allowing me to look around like this and actually consider shooting any of these more distant targets uh, that aren't exactly uh, right where my guns are already pointed. So uses in reverse. Curve first. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Curve first has taken torpedoes or something serious here, uh, which I don't love. Shimakaze is probably to blame for that scenario. Let's see if we can't. Uh, Remind Shimakaze that he can't torpedo us with impunity. Oh, there goes Kerr first. Not my preferred outcome of uh, what's going on here. Kiev is in danger. Uh, he's probably about to give his ship away. Oh, come on. He's lost sight on him, so all those shells are going to hit the mountain. And those first ones were a bad shot, they're just going to miss. This is very much an unfortunate scenario. Fees over there hiding behind an island. Kid. Kid is very shootable. Whoops. What are you doing, kid? You gonna commit to that corner? Lost him. And totally missed. It's not cool. Hit my acoustics. Kid could be trying to get uh, some torpedoes on this Yamato. And if that is the case. Ooh, Soyuz. Soyuz might be getting dumped. But in the event he's not, I'm going to scoop him up. Didn't want to steal the kill from my team, but I want to make sure we guarantee that guy's death. So I will. Oh my gosh, I will shatter 10 shells on the Soyuz. Nonsense. Nonsense, I tell you. Also stepping out in front of these curfers who taught me a lesson a while back. Not a big fan of what I'm seeing there. <laughs> oh boy. 
Okay, I got a fire on the one curfew. I'm going to switch to the other one. Who is almost out of range. Never mind, I'm going back to this one. If I can get a second fire on him. I'm actually going to turn away, get skinny, and start swinging my guns around. Let's follow these shells, see if they're going to land where I put them. Or where I tried to put them. Getting a lot of shadow shells today on these really heavily armored battleships. Uh, I feel like 59 hits, 33 of them being shatters, just speaks to some of the armor on these guys that we're trying to take out. Oh my gosh, reload! Come on! Had a small hit on the kid, but uh, unfortunately he's about to drift behind the island in a way where I won't be able to hit him anymore unless he really backs up. But I'll, I'll threaten him with some of these. I don't really have range on Odin or Kerfirsts. Looks like we dumped that Russian BB, the Soyuz. That should be the last thing Kid ever does. Oh, he turned! Oh, and it still was almost. Man, if this guy lives long enough for me to reload. Oh, he did. I don't believe this. Let's see if we can clean him up here. There we go. Problem solved. Perfect! We gotcha. Okay, I'm going to try to step into B. They are... Well, they still have a DD. They have that Shimakaze, which could be anywhere. I'm going to actually hit this last hole repair. If I don't hit it now, I've only got 7 minutes and 59 seconds left in the game. It takes 80 seconds to reload this thing, and it's 20 seconds or 28 seconds of operation. So I'm going to use this hole repair now. It's a little bit early, but if I take a really big hit like I did before, this ship just goes poof and we never see it again. So if I hit it now, I'll get all those hit points back. If I wait, I might get none. You know, I might just die, and if that's the case, we'd be in, in much worse shape. Now, the Odin is within shooting range for me now, so I'm going to take advantage of that and hope that these rocks protect me from him. There's Atago. It's not what I was expecting to see here. I'm going to ready my APs, and I'm going to fire a uh, salvo of HEs first. Hopefully, I can shoot over this island. I can't. I can now... Oh my gosh, please hit that guy. 5,700 damage. Great. There's some torps out there. If he's got any sense, he'll turn in on me. Exactly what he's doing. He's going for the other torp shot. Let's see if I can deny him the torpedoes. I think the answer is yes. Yes. Perfect! Yes, I can. Okay. Regulation, man. Woof! Gotta be Andy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Alright. Regulators. Got a 30-year-old song now. Um, here come those Otago torpedoes, as promised. We knew he was doing that turn. I kind of overturned there, but managed to dodge them just the same. I don't want to fight all three of those guys. I don't actually think it's good for my health. I think what we ought to do... What's my Yamato doing? Yeah, I see you, buddy. Forty thousand hit points left on that boy, dude. I don't know if I have time to do it. Where's this guy's guns? Okay. Seventy-three hundred. Uh, don't harm me with your stupid secondaries. I don't want it. Oh, why do I have APs loaded? No, those are from the Otago. I didn't even realize. Although they they did work. I did twelve thousand damage between those two salvos. Oh my gosh! Come on now, stick with me. 
like as long as I don't die immediately. I'm gonna try to stop being spotted. And I've done it. Okay, so now we should be able to turn around. Whose smoke is this? <laughs> Where's that Shima? Uh, okay, he's over there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, ooh, hey guys. 14k left on this Odin. trying to provide some soft cover fire for this Yamato. I don't think I can save him single-handedly, right? But I do believe that I can, uh, can make it a little easier for him to escape. Ooh, yeah, big hit on that Kerfi. Nice job. Getting these smaller hits on this curve first, but trying to get. Shikaku's coming in on me with his rocket flames. Those are gonna be less than desired. We are at 95 7 on the damage counter. That is not bad. Oh my gosh. Can we do it? Oh my gosh, 99.3. We're so close to the pizza party, guys. We've got to do this. <laughs> I don't know how bad we need A as much as we need to keep our Yamato supported. So I'm going to kind of swing on up here and see if we can't get it done. I don't have range on Odin. I'm gonna chuck some torps out here in front of Yamato. Our CV needs to get moving. He's in a bad place. No damage? Come on! That's 102k, folks. We did it. Welcome to the pizza party. Been waiting for that 100k all day. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. Can we win it, though? I mean, this battle is... Those torps look fantastic on this guy. I kind of hope they hit, but I think we're going to kill him before that happens. Here comes some gunfire. Oh, we did get him with the torps. I thought for sure those secondaries off that guy were going to do it. That was fantastic. I think we might win this one, kids. And I'm not going to brag, but I think I had something to do with it. Okay, that is bragging, actually. Why is our Lexington up here? What are you doing, fella? What? <laughs> I guess this probably feels like the backfield to you, but it ain't. Those are shimmer torps. I need to dodge this. Five, the the uh, sorry, I was typing. The Yamato on our team just said, "I've got five million potential." Come on, boys! I can't hold out much longer. <laughs> he is just a soldier, man. Oh my gosh, so good! And the Odin just about got down. We've got the points lead. Odin's down very low. Twenty-two seconds on the clock. This should be a victory to time. I'm doing a just great battle. Team Green. GG.
Fantastic, dude. What a great battle. That was awesome. I am super excited by that. We have had a rough morning all morning. I was up tiered from tier 4 all the way up through to tier 9. And then finally at tier 10, you give me a fight where I'm the guy who's up tiered and... Uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, we come out with a solid game after that. 120,000 damage, which, again, uh, you know, six figures in a tier 10 ship isn't unheard of, but that's a solid match, right? You can certainly say I participated. We got three kills in that battle, two defenses. Uh, I even got a Citadel out of this. Uh, bunches of fires, because that's what the Zao does. It's kind of the original fire starter, but it also had the ability to do some punching with AP and things. Relentless in the Yamato, I do not doubt for a second that he suffered 5 million potential damage or you know four million eight hundred thousand if he was a rounder upper or whatever that dude was fantastic so comps to relentless i'm gonna actually throw those out right now not reports comps plays well and i'll even give him a good manners he was under a lot of stress and uh <laughs> Although he was, uh, hey guys, why don't you come back here and help me? He kept it pretty classy. So Relentless won. Great, great play from you. Basically dug your heels in and held against three battleships, two tier 10s and a tier 8. With, I'll say, limited support. I even described it as soft support from me in the Zhao. That was fantastic. So yeah, great job. Uh, Kiev was behind enemy lines for the whole game. I don't know when he got sunk or what happened up there, but he was up in a place he shouldn't have been, but he made it work. Look at 1,800 base. That's fantastic. 12 plane kills for me. Again, those tier 8 planes, a little bit easier for me to knock down in the Zhao. Three kills, 1,700 base XP. Kerr first, 32,000 damage. Otago, 24,000 damage. Kid, 7,000 damage, 7,600. So uh, definitely participated in each of the, the kills that I got more than just swiping the kill at the end. The kid was a little bit of a cleanup on IL-5, but for the most part, you know, I participated in those kills. Otago, I think, is the guy I got the Citadel on. 41-7 to the other Kerfers. These two dudes were the guys who sitted me really early in the game. You know, we're two minutes in. I get dumped all the way down to, I don't know, what, what was it, four or 5,000 hit points. He took a little time to heal up. That's a that's actually an important thing to think about. And I learned this from a friend of mine uh, who goes by a screen name of Honey Badger with a bunch of numbers after it. Um, taking some time to heal up uh, and not re-engaging those guys, not saying, oh, you you hit me, I got to hit you back right now. If you do that, you're keeping yourself visible. And that's one of the tricks that the Zhao has up its sleeve is being able to get unspotted again, take it take a few minutes to heal up it's only an 80 second reload on that whole repair that worked out fantastically des moines again at 7500 not a big deal odin barely even involved with and then the soyuz i shattered so many shells against this guy i hit him 23 times for 2400 damage so i was hitting the wrong part of the ship here right we did poorly all right let's move on we'll go back and we'll find ourselves another battle 